When people talk about leadership today, a major feature of leadership is about leadership of change. Organisations, fortunately or unfortunately, depends how you want to look at it, have set up a lot of mechanisms around their structure, their culture, the systems and the procedures, which actually make it very hard to do change. There is a lot of evidence and a lot of from, from practical experience that taking a staged approach to change is very appealing and it's being planful and rational but also ex expecting the unexpected. For example, we talk about models where the major task, firstly, is often to create that sense of urgency about why we need to change. A staff ask, why change? So, why change around a sense of vision, around a sense of new values, around what customers and stakeholders really want from the organisation, and then getting into a, a piece around the communication of change and then the mobilisation of staff uh, around that vision and the new values and using the whole set of communication channels. And that's quite a, a sophisticated level of discussion. And then the final part of change is really bedding it down, you know, so, because often we're very habitual, we'll go back to the old habits, so uh, a major part of our discussion is working with participants to think about ways in which they can bed down the new change in new habits and new values, new behaviours, new rituals. That's the, the culture of, of, of the new business that they want to create.